welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of Insane Difficulty. It's time to go for Sinister Overlord, deploy into the mission without vanguards and we get some extra, that's fine. Units have their skill cooldowns increased by two turns. That is a problem for our scouts, but I still will use Spectre here in this particular mission and let's work together with a support mojo deploy into the mission without vanguards yes we got that and i think we're fine and it seems that that's a rescue mission so maybe torture ports and so on Our scouts have spotted another pair of grub torture pods. Break those prisoners free and we might just gain some new recruits. Yep, that's exactly that. Torture pods it is. Here we go. Let's jump into the mission. Scouts are doing quite well on those torture pod missions. So I'm happy that I saved her for last. The locusts are keeping prisoners nearby. Let's There's go. a vanguard in there. And that seems to be a heavy. So we even got a nice team. Not sure why we are not allowed to deploy with vanguards. Epic case up here. Somehow we're loading. Good. Epic case up there. And if I was to take that chance, or I guess another epic case might be around the third objective. Why am I so bad in spotting them? Let's just assume for now it's around the third objective. We're picking up the first case. Go ahead. And just so that we're moving in fast. We already know the first torture pot is there. Well, well, well. What do we have yeah. over here? Do not let up! Some extra damage certainly would help. And that's almost a full kill. So how about... Putting this here. And this should completely destroy him. There we go. Three extra movement. We are cloaking. And I would say we're just going to move up. Out of curiosity, no, we can't attack it with a chainsaw. Not yet. Going into full cover. Right for attack. Yeah, we should be safe. Full cover is typically not beatable by them. Oh, 
Okay, so in terms of frag grenades... Taking position. Let's plant this one here. And we continue to move. Read you. Jack turns invisible. And continues to move as well. Next stop is the torture pod. We theoretically got healing, we don't need that now. Scanning now. A bit of overwatch isn't bad. That will deal some damage. He will move, explosion, overwatch, and it's almost down. Okay, one, apparently, the grenade hasn't really hit hard enough, two, I read you. two, we're Solid moving over here. Knowing farewell that there is potentially another one of these guys. There is the interrupt. We're already poisoned. Okay, we just don't want to cluster up so that he can't put both of us in Overwatch. So far, it's going quite well. The disciples are hard to beat, but uh, they are not really, like, threatening. They don't deal an awful lot of damage. Ooh. I see Jack cannot permanently stay invisible. Well, that's a problem. The cooldown increases is a major issue for Jack. Completely forgot about that. Let's kick some ass. I'm listening. No problem. Oh, that should be a nice little hit. Close only if you're actually hitting. Almost out. I don't want to waste the cooldown aura yet. Uh, well, not the cooldown aura, the extra ability action points yet. But apparently I don't have a choice. So, both of you, action point. Yes, please. And whilst we're at it... Nice little coordination. Affirmative. Moving up. Scout reporting in. Down to a hundred. And that should be a kill. Good. Finally. Let's kick 
kick some ass. <laughs> Deck begins to move in. And let's free up the last. Um, or the first pod, actually. Good. With him, we already got a team of four, including Jack. Jack will get the loot. Orders. And we need to get across the bridge. Roger that. Support here. So let's just reload. Let the guy die. Target in sight. Okay, so far so good. The cooldowns are becoming a problem. That's two Berserkers. Let's get this done. Okay, Jack can't simply go invisible and ignore everything. Hey. So we need to take a bit of a care here. On the move. Scout moves up. Should have used sprint. On Overwatch. Trying to pin him. I read you. Vanguard doesn't want to take an attack of opportunity. Instead, let's kill all three of them with a grenade. <clears throat> That's a nice little three for one. Eat dirt and die. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case they are coming closer. Okay. In the meantime, moving up and let's overwatch. Past me. They're making a move. I see him. Time to go. Taking position. Good, we got nine more turns we should be fine okay now is a good time for that extra 20 percent damage i'm listening you must be kidding me Definitely grenade hit. Throwing frag. Support here. Solid Support count. moves up and maybe. Yeah, very good. That uh -huh. did not fully kill him, which means we can finish him. 
and a sword. Drop them. And that means everybody gets even more abil uh, action points. Why am I always saying ability points? Good, shush. Let us move up. Deck is turning on his healing aura just in case. Nice. They're on the move. We're up. Roger that. Ours now. Good. We got all of the cases. And we're hiding. Next Stand turn, we're by. going to move in. Jack moves up as well, hiding this turn. Moving. Okay. So far, the enemies don't seem to be too threatening. Well, there is a sniper drone. Time to go. I retract my initial statement. Can't give everybody... Not yet. <clears throat> Can't give everybody else turns. Oh, and we got seven turns left over, so we're fine for now. I'm listening. Awaiting orders. Moving to position. Good, we're moving up. This should be good. into another full cover spot chances of hitting are too low so we're going to overwatch instead Jack is handing over some auras that and that and afterwards moves out of line of sight. Hey. Solid copy. And we're going right into that uh, zone over here. Setting up a perimeter. This one is 40% damage reduction and now also cooldown reduction thanks to the second auras. That's a good interruption right there. That is unfortunate. Time to go. Frag out. Back in your hole. Nice little Vanguard reporting shot that hit every single one of them. Okay, moving over.
Jack moves up as well. Extra damage, extra hit. So that's 100% kill. Hey. Acknowledged. Any regret? Extra ability points. Target is down. Action points, rather, but you know by now what I mean. And that nicely lets everyone reload. Orders. Wilco. Good, I think we got another heavy here. Maybe I should have waited because then this wouldn't ha would have happened next turn. Uh -huh. Acknowledged. Good. We're just moving in the direction there. I think now we do have a really strong team. They're making a move. The moment that you do have both of uh, the pots cleared, you're doing well. Berserkers, fine. I don't mind them. Wretches, fine as well. I don't mind them either. Well, we're starting to get to the point where, I, where it's a bit much. <laughs> Let's get this done. Affirmative. Good. Everybody is sprinting up. And that includes Jack, of course. We want to take the bridge. I'm listening. ASAP. On it. Because that one is a nice choke point. And if it's just Berserkers and Ratchets, I would say we can almost keep keep the bridge forever. Oh, the AI is trying to line up for the biggest grenade kill that ever existed, right? Well, this is what you get for extended range. Okay. Hey. Okay. Heavy begins to move up. Good, so this is a not an overwatch focused On it. but an actual shot focused heavy. Interesting. Bit of coordination. Nice little aura here. And Jack is hiding. Moving over. On my way. 
moving over and I think it's fair to give him yeah, an overwatch yeah, as well. On it. Go ahead. On overwatch. Good. We're holding the choke point nicely. Anyone, any grenades? Yes. Oh, thank you. Out going fresh. It's stay there. I'm listening. I always keep it sharp. Gotcha. Good. Minus 20% accuracy. Plus 20% damage for all of them. Scout here. Wilco. Scout moves up. Jack moves up to here, then gives everyone an extra action. And then lets everybody re reload. We can't hijack either uh, anyway, so we gotta kill it, uh, them this turn. Crit chance, but not a hundred percent kill. This, however, will be a kill. Taking position and a sword. Even more actions. From the execution. Orders. Didn't connect. One dead grub. I'm listening. Good, moving up. There's the objective. They won't get past me. Vanguard here. All right, no. time to get out of here. Should have been more careful not to use the supports abilities uh, points, uh, action points.
At least the game is kind enough to not land the enemies right on top of us like XCOM would. Awaiting order. Scout reporting. And that's another one. And boy, oh boy, we do have a lot of legendary equipment uh, to give to our prime team. And also quite a bit of epic gear. So after those three missions, I think our average uh, item level will increase at least on one or two spots we will see upgrades cool we got a promotion for our scout and we could hire level five gears there Currently our roster is full, but you could theoretically always get rid of a, four, of a level 3 and instead favor a level 5 gear. Don't need to do that now. Let's first of all start with the obvious items here. 55 healing. I'm still thinking that they are too weak, but 155 healing is definitely better than 100. Magazine extension, plus two magazine size. Okay. I guess that is something for our sniper. I like sleek, that's good. But that finally gets us to five shots with our sniper rifle right yeah five ammunition okay that will make her much more durable in the fights good we got champion when executing an enemy each ally is healed for 15 percent when this unit executes an enemy each ally's ability cooldowns are reduced by one well we already had champion going now we have the legendary version of it, which is bonkers. So he's going to be the one executing the enemies. 60 health, 40% critical hit resistance. Sounds like... Hmm. Sounds like something our heavy might enjoy. Yeah, 60 health is great. Hmm. Let me think about it. I mean, Untraceable is good, but he already has a damage reduction. So let's give him critical hit resistance on top of that. And we're giving him the better Untraceable version. Okay, so far so good. Helmet. We're still... <clears throat> a bit weak on the helmets. Hair trigger is good. That worked well so far. As for Sid, we got a new bayonet. And this here means 20% chance to receive one action. Unit gets a critical hit. The chance is tripled. No way. Okay, so listen. Essentially, together with this flatliner here, it means he's charging in, auto kill, right? Flatliner makes it 100% crit chance. Then he's shooting with 100% crit chance, and that triples 
uh, that means 60% chance to get an action. That is an awesome combination. Fantastic. I really like it. Could use another of those frag grenades. Hardened is okay. And boots for him, heavy weight, 10% damage reduction. I still think that the stacking damage reduction is the way to go for him. He does have almost 100% damage reduction for the first turn. Accuracy, 10% or more damage and less crit chance. The problem with with her is she needs to she really needs to hit and I want to continue with that crit build. This is great. 65 damage is fantastic. But if we're not hitting, that's going to be a problem. I much rather would have loved to have more crit damage. Autoloader is good, but she now has more ammunition. I think we're instead giving her Blitz. She is okay with the ammunition now that she finally has five shots. And this here gives her a 50% chance for an extra AP. That again means more damage. Magazine extension is definitely the way to go for her and her helm with the optics is also the right thing. All right, next up, Quincy. Bloodlust versus 40 damage. I think we're going with the 40 damage. The healing is nice, but he's a damage dealer at heart. Patrol for extra overwatch damage, more ammunition, and the disrupt. That's the best thing about him. He has a fantastic armor. Ah, the helmet is so and so. Critical hit chance or critical hit damage. I think we're instead going with critical hit chance. And finally, our scout. 7% accuracy bonus. Yes, please. Focus is good. But the damage wasn't bad either. And the ammunition was a problem in the last, in the last uh, mission. So maybe we're switching back. Utility belt, we unfortunately don't have anything equal. Grenadier, 25%. Yeah, that's a no-brainer and blast zone. No-brainer as well. She also got the damage grenades in there. And the last thing we need to do is go deeper into her abilities. It's potentially the last level that she gets. Movement range when hidden was good. Free cloak isn't bad either. Sprint was good as well. I think we just go to uh, with sprint and leave this side B. The extra escape route kind of double hiding. Not bad, but also not fantastic. Movement range when hidden is good. I like that. And this here is free cloak. And the cloak lasts one turn longer. I think it will just do a lot for her action economy. 
the anticipation is a decent skill i like it sprint is really good we could go with that and that and then go for ob obfuscate Five more meters is a lot. Are we okay with the cloak? And are we just taking anticipate and sprint instead? That allow her to move faster. Anticipation here would really allow her to like get all of uh, the all of uh, the ability points in one action point sorry in one turn so we could go like this and this and then anticipation obfuscate nimble is eh, so and so it's okay the free cloak is sexy i tell you what we're taking movement range when hidden in free cloak now and we can reskill and then take this at the next level This is a stronger immediate uh, effect. I would argue this here is stronger with the next level. Well, and there we go. Boy, that was a lot of loot and some crazy missions. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen because now it's time for Biohazard and that will happen in the next episode. If you like what you've seen, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.